All right, everyone, Supreme Kami over here. So I had one over in terms of equivalent already. So that one should be up. So next, we are going to be talking about the talkies up over here and see how this one goes. So in terms of uh, all these uh, seven parts over here, I'm not really the most intrigued by how they treat this guy over here. Uh, so first of all, this one is going to be more or less like a melee type unit. But in terms of the shot defense, is a relatively high. So this one is looking like it's going to be like a second version to how the U Raven gun was. But in terms of this one, this one does not pack nearly as high on in terms of both defensive stats. So I'm not even sure what this one is trying to go for. So I think the best ceiling part from this set specifically is definitely going to be the melee weapons over here. So let me just going to go over the best part from the set first. So. Um, in terms of the melee, whoops, let me do make this smaller real quick for you guys. All right, not that small. All right. So in terms of the melee weapon, um, this one does not have any, let's say, melee defense, so you're not going to be benefiting from any of those at forty percent change gear per se. But this one already comes in with like a seventeen thousand uh, melee attack already, so this thing is is looking like a beast already. Um, uh, wise high mobility, high fire power, definitely something um pretty good looking forward to, I guess you know. Um, in terms of overall part trade, this thing is actually going to be <clears throat> something that you can use for both a melee build and a shot build, no problem. Uh, reason being, I say that. So you have a initial EX skill choice boosted by 25%, so that's going to be a given per se. So that does not stop you from using it in, let's say, shot or melee. And in terms of the second part trade, you do have a EX skill power boosting instead of like a melee specifically. So that that means you know you can use it in both build, no problem. So this is a uh, if you guys are looking for something you want to do like a two in one, um, I'm pretty sure this is definitely something you guys can be looking forward into. And that is also going to be the case because you are going to be getting some beefy shot defense as well. So that is uh, going to be a pretty good translation to some shot attack as well. So not bad all around. So you do have high firepower, so you can definitely bridge into a good shot build, no problem. Uh, but my only concern about this uh, heat lance over here is that we don't really have too many of let's say lance category weapon trees so if i do filter um to lance specifically i don't re even think we have anything that's good for shot specifically i would have to say um let me just maybe this one nope what about this one this one is drill lance so nope this one not either so what else do we have hyper beam javelin um no, this one wouldn't work because you're not really sharing any war tag wise. So, yeah, so you're talking about doing some good sub slot, not really in that case. So, kind of kind of unfortunate that they packed this one as a lance category instead. So, uh, yeah, nope, this one would not work either. Nope, what about some something around here? So, these are all gonna be standard, and I don't even think the standard would. Eh, what about this one? Ooh, Gundam type, yeah, so you don't really have that much good option for your sub slot. So it might be a very good melee weapon to be honest, but um, it's just in terms of the sub slot availability, it's just not there. So um, definitely going to be a good weapon so far. Um, it's going to be rank among one of the high ones that we have so far. Not bad overall, just not bad. Uh, we're just trying to compare something that's a little bit more easy to, let's say, activate or in terms of sub slot wise. Um, I think the best one we have was uh, I think we have something right, or is it not here? I don't know. I don't. I don't think we have anything else. Like this one, the cold sword beam saber is uh, a double forty percent trait, but I don't think we have another that is like a initial charge boosting. So yeah, this is currently one up like the one and only. So yeah, that that does make it a pretty unique at the at the current time. So yeah, you know. But yeah, if we talk about this one, um, I don't know. This one is going to be a very hard choice. It's definitely good, but I just feel like in terms of what you can sub slot, it's extremely lim limited in a way. So yeah, that could be a problem if you're trying to do it in both build. But melee, definitely no problem. Shot build, if you're trying to take advantage of that, um, you got to be a little bit more... Um, you, you would like to synergize your war tag better for your other part first. So you don't have to deal with any uh, war tag changes on, let's say, on this guy over here. So yeah. Um, you got the, uh, what is it, the Duberkin over here, if that's how you pronounce it, probably pronounce it wrong, but uh, in terms of this uh, range, wipe, uh, range weapon over here, so this one, keep that in mind, long category, so your sub slot option is not going to be as good as well, so <laughs> yeah, Beam Rapper is definitely the easiest one to be looking at, but this one is not, so 
um, you guys can see that I do have a few listed out right here for your melee specifically and this one honestly could be a very good one for your shot as well because look at that you do have a fairly good chunks of shot defense so that uh, that rather will get translated really well into that shot attack right there um, in terms of EX skill over here so you, did, you do have a double 40% trait right here or double EX skill specifically so you can use it in both your melee and shot um, you do have high power and high mobility so let's check it out in terms of do we have any good you know sub slot option for this one over here so let me do this one first so we do have a lot so yeah we definitely have a lot and we have one big skill that is available which i think this is uh, definitely something you can use for sure so that one has high fire power so you can get high um no, you can get um ace exclusive with this one over here so not bad so this one is definitely something you can do and then down over here we also do have let's say the stop board gun from the barbados Wharf one over here so this could be a good subset as well but um, highly not in a way because you purely want to get some um, shot base specifically, um, you know, war tech wise up here. So, yeah, but they're definitely something uh, for both these uh, weapon threes up here. They're definitely going to be for a dual type build if you want to do that, or definitely you can use it either or anyway. So, yeah, not bad. Um, so, let's actually go back to the other part. So, um, start things off on the head. All right, head parts up here. So, let's see what we're packing with over here. Um, honestly, I'm not really the big fan of the head. Um, no. Uh, in terms of the war tag wise um, not the war tag excuse me the portrait is a uh, very you know kind of like meh but look at that we're getting like a double melee power boosting but um it's only going to be that 30 to 35 uh, ratio split and this one does have two pretty bad restriction in a way so you do have a physical when attacking a physical which one of the ex skill that is actually featured in this unit is actually a b melee so i'm not sure how you can benefit from that so yeah not sure what they were doing in that one right there but um so the secondary portrait does want you to use an outfighter so that is pretty much locking you down to only using outfighters so depending on how your builds look like because there are certainly some trade that wants you to use only um, outfighter and sometimes they want you to only use an um, fighter. so those are definitely going to be that middle line split where you want to see which way you want to build specifically um so generally these are not going to be like your best choice because like what happened when you can't use this specific um, tech for example or what if you don't have the um, available option anyway so um so this one i don't really recommend alternating this one just because you know this one's going to be your 30 to 35 split so why not go for something that is a little bit juicier um, let's say the ash of origin over here so this one came out two weeks ago i believe two yeah i think it was like maybe it was two weeks ago right or is it longer so anyways uh this came out and this one is probably one of the better or like, double 40 percent trade uh, obviously something you might, may want to target in a way um so this one is definitely something you can wait until they drop a ultra banner that we got two weeks ago so you can potentially pick it up from that method so this one right now is currently one of the um you know holding standard right now a uh, standing place once you kind of um, look out for um does have pro tag like these one over, over here having pro tag definitely makes it a lot more valuable in a way because like all the other blend that we have seen like it's high mobility close combat you know obviously those are like your main um what tag to be using but you know having pro tag is a fairly important as well so um, in terms of this one probably not a good for an alteration in a way all right moving on to the torso over here so the overall stat wise over here you guys can see that the shot defense is uh, incredibly high like look at that it's like a roughly about 3k more than your melee defense which i don't kind of get this one's supposedly like a melee tag unit I, I guess it is um, you guys can see that in terms of the torso wise over here this is going to be at the bottom of the barrel currently so in terms of highest one we got is like roughly about seven uh seven to eight hundred isk difference over here so <clears throat> not going to be your best bet of course right more tail wise high mobility close combat definitely a solid option um in terms of the overall portrait this is a word we're going to see something that we don't really need for example or we can kind of look out for something like that in a standard perspective because um the uh, straight red frame as well as the what is it uh, one of the earth threes not not the earth threes um morse four morse four actually this up another uh to physical specifically um it's like the ex cooldown so this is um this this part three right here is uh, in comparison to some standard part that may be better because for for one they're easy to get up to like a part three level 10 uh for two they're just 
they're just easier to obtain. So um, this one, just having it at, at, at 20 to 35 for the uh, uh, for the EX cooldown right there, uh, that has been already outclassed by the Ash Mode Origin already. Look at that one. This one on close combat, EX cooldown reduced by 23% and also a 40% melee power boosting. So obviously, we do have a better choice out there already. So that's why this one is not that good. And even if you do look at, let's say, Cold Sora, um, Cold Sora is probably one of the worst ones to kind of compare with because Core Sword has a um, type of um, attribute restriction as well as a kind of like the attacking uh, format in a way you have to be using attacking a beam so that's why this one is probably worse but you know this one having a armor restriction can be a problem but overall this is just not going to be the best investment if you talk about building a uh, cooldown reduction type build um, I'd rather have you guys go for some standard option instead of going for these um, Sokai suits because um, getting them to level 10 is uh, going to be extremely hard it's going to be a quite a journey so um, don't do that because it's going to it's going to be bad <laughs> honestly uh, but you can definitely leverage it with your growth hanger as well as those uh, monthly um, nippers uh, reset for say to kind of upgrade these um, these over here but honestly going for the standard part is not even that bad at all so <clears throat> Uh, moving on to the arm, so I just make it split this time around. So we have the regular arm as well as the arm plus shield. So I think um, comparing it to this one is probably the best bet. So in terms of the melee attack over here, so we are not looking too hot in terms of this just um, just having these uh, three competition right now. Um, even the ash bomb is better. We, we got the enhanced with Seda, which is uh, going to be better because it does have access to big scale, obviously. So all around this, uh, this one is specifically what you want to use. Um, purely use this one just for the EXQ um, exclusively. So this EXQ right here is, is one of those special ones that comes with like an incredibly high piercing value. Giving it at like an S, um, S pierce over here. Uh, but in terms of your actual power wise, you are looking at only a B plus power. So that is going to be the unfortunate factor. So I'm actually going to be doing some testing to see how much of a difference that S piercing actually going to do. So probably going to take on some challenges that is that has, has a really built high high build and let's say defensive stats so i want to see if i can potentially break it down with just having like an s tier or s piercing ex over here um something to note on this ex in terms of the first time usage is only going to be your first 12 seconds so that's actually pretty good as well you also do get a little bit of a, of a um, squad recovery as well as a pretty good healthy 30 percent um, melee power boosting so all around pretty good um in terms of investing it into let's say um using it otherwise i don't think this is going to be the best idea because if you are going to be using an arm plus an integrate shoe you are going to be losing the ability to do any sub slot or any or pack any portrait into that shield slot so you are going to be losing out some pretty good stat as well not stat specifically but you're going to be losing out some big um you know portrait potential so yeah this one is definitely a pretty good material for an e like for the skin specifically but in terms of using it for, for like sub slot i don't know maybe sub slot you can do that actually but in terms of overall stat um it is already going to be cut by half because this is a two uh, two in one parts right here so they obviously cannot have a sub slot and still maintain this amount of stat right so um if you do the, do the split i don't know how good the stat will be actually so yeah so that's why this one is purely going to be for like the ex purposes so all right moving on so moving on to the leg over here so let's see what the leg has for us over here so leg wise over here in terms of overall style you guys can see that you know, the continued trend of a pretty high um, shot defense over here with a pretty low um, melee defense unfortunately um does have some pretty good armor wise as well so not bad i would have to say for chat wise so high, high power high mobility definitely a not bad combo right there uh in terms of what portrait so the first portrait is definitely something you can benefit from from having like extremely high piercing like the uh, like the arm does over here but uh i'd rather have something that's more like a power boosting instead so this one is uh if you are not feeling the chest for example or you you don't like the first portrait uh even the second portrait it may not be too compelling to you um this can be a pretty good skip as well uh but in terms of the leg stat over here so we're not doing too bad actually so we are like in between the packs so um that is definitely something good to see but um further investment for this one uh, like you know all trading it probably not now in a way um that definitely can be something that you want to hold off on to for example maybe until you get like a better kind of like a double power boosting kind of trade so this one right now is just nah not really that good so yeah <clears throat> moving on to the backpack now 
or the backpack does have a mini ex queue over here so you can talk about that real quick afterward so this one does have a 9k for your shot defense surprise surprise like i don't know what they're doing like look at that melee def defense is actually quite low for <laughs> whatever reason uh that is uh, pretty sad actually so um, in terms of the backpack over here, the backpack EX gear, not anything too uh, spectacular, I guess. I haven't used it myself yet, but just look at it on paper, we do have max out at a 10, uh, at a uh, piercing value of A+, plus, as well as the power B+, plus for there. So that's actually not bad, actually. Um, but I, I don't do have, okay, I do have it, and I can check it out, right? Let me see. Um, no, you don't even need to alter it because, like, look, do I, no, I didn't alter it, right? Yeah, so look at it already. You are doing B plus power already, so further altering it will result you in maybe like a slight increase in terms of damage. But other than that, uh, keeping it like that should be a pretty good option, I guess, in a way. Because, oops, whoa, I looked at the wrong one. Whoops, <laughs> that's my bear right there. I don't even have it anymore, right? Because I altered it, so let me to reassure me. Let me actually check out the uh, the capsule page. Yeah, I messed up. I look at the backpack. Oh no, I look at the arm. I don't know what I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> um, this one you would have to alter it because it's only going to be looking at a uh, what you would call it a C power. So uh, we are planning to do a little bit more damage with that kick skill. Definitely alter it to gain that B power property. But other than that, you know, in terms of the backpack, not really much to say in a way. Uh, the stat is uh, actually pretty low compared to, you know, some of the older ones that we have on the list already. So kind of kind of unfortunate right there. So um, whether or not you want to alter it purely for um, using it for the EX skill, for example, or purely using it for the stat, uh, that really going to depend on you. Uh, if you are going to using it, definitely alter it. If you're planning not to and you have some better options already uh, out there already, uh, simply skip this one should be fine for alteration so um, overall in terms of the total beast over here I don't see too many uh, like I would say really good parts out here um, definitely the good two good parts is uh, going to be your melee weapon tree as well as your you know range weapon tree um, all the other one I don't really think that are that good for example in terms of alterating it uh, I just feel like this that was a little bit too kind of like meh uh, I don't know why they were exclusively boosting a lot of shot defense on this one well, always the unit is so always like that in a way maybe the unit is like the actual kids um in like their manga novel anime might have some pretty high um shot defense that's why they give that the option but other than that this is a pretty i don't know like a not so good compared to the equivalent so with that being said you know that is going to be pretty much it so um other than that you know not much you kind of talk about with this scale here just not overall uh, it's not really worth it anyway so with that being said that is going to be pretty much it and i'll catch you all on the next one